Yo guys, Spiderbite here, and this is a Black Ops 2 a preview of the Score Streak Reward War Machine. And this is an image of Death Machine. There's a correlation, Death Machine, War Machine. War Machine requires a few more points. Here is an image from Gamescom footage of the War Machine, and it actually holds six rocket propelled grenades or noob tubes or whatever you want to call it and an extra six that you can load into the gun. It actually looks from that image that he's getting a hit marker. Like, I actually slowed down the image, and it looks like he's getting a hit marker before it actually even fires, but or it detonates. Uh, there it is on the score streak list. The War Machine at 700 points. Grenade launcher with rapid semi-auto firing. All right, we're going to just start off with a little bit of footage of the Death Machine, just so you can make a uh, pretty decent comparison between the two score streak reward weapons. Uh, both actually come, uh, not only can be set up as your one of three score streak rewards, uh, it doesn't come in a care package or anything, you automatically get it, uh, but it can also come in a care package, I believe. Um, and this one actually did come in a care package, I believe, as you can tell, because it's not set up as Viva Kitty Cat's regular score streak rewards. But this thing is pretty powerful. I mean, I don't know. Like, it actually looks like those rocket propelled grenades are pretty damn powerful. I don't know what the correlation is between the War Machine and the actual noob tubes that exist on guns. And yes, they are back. It is an attachment in that Black Ops 2 uh, attachment list video that we did a while back, the assault rifle attachment. So the noob tube is back. So I, again, I don't know if there's an actual comparison. You know, is the War Machine noob tube the same as the regular weapon noob tube? So there he got it in the care package. And uh, it looks, again, it looks kind of like uh, the same mobility as an L LMG. Although, you know, he can run with this thing and... At least from zombies. I mean, I've gotten, obviously, Death Machine way more in zombies. And you can't really run with it. There's no sprinting. Uh, it appears, though, in multiplayer, you can. Uh, and I think it, that's the same as with the Death Machine as well. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's um, It's got kind of like the LMG mobility. But look how effective it is. I mean, you know, one shot there. And like I said, that one image that I took, it almost looked like he was getting... Like, I slowed it right down um, frame by frame, and it looked like he got a hit marker as soon as he fired the uh, the war machine. So I don't know how that's going to go, but the hit marker came up right away. And then you saw the explosion. Um, I don't know if we'll... Uh, maybe I can get that in sort of in slow motion, and we'll slow it down for you at the end of the video. But uh, So he actually got... You know, not only do you have the, the war machine as a care package score streak reward that he got. Uh, he also has this death machine that was set up as his one of three uh, for here, Optic Ray, as his one of three score streak rewards. So he's got both of them. I mean, talk about, uh, you know, and he goes on a tear. Talk about being OP. Uh, he goes on a tear with the death machine and the war machine in this uh, in this gameplay footage from uh, Gamescom. And we're going to show, oh, this is the image here, I think. No, all right. Well, I, I, regardless, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you that slowed down version. And there um, is Optic Big Timer getting a uh, War Machine from the Care Package. I don't know, it seemed like in that gameplay, a lot of them were getting War Machines from the Care Packages. And again, I don't know what the percentages are that they set up for that. So uh, right at the end of this clip, I'm going to go to a slowed down version of that uh, hit marker I was talking about. All right, right here. All right, so here's the uh, slowed down version about quarter speed, and you can see that uh, that hit marker, that X, come up almost right away. And I thought at first, okay, maybe he got a direct impact, but I don't think so. I think the um, the indicator on the kill feed looks the same as it does on on any of the other ones. And I did look at a couple of other kills with the with the war machine, and it does look like that hit marker is coming up way too early. I don't know. That's is it just me or what? Anyways, that's just something that I uh, I picked out when I was going through this uh, this gameplay, was that it appeared that the hit markers on the war machine were actually uh, being indicated way before the uh, grenade actually detonates uh, at impact. So, anyways, just uh, some food for thought there. What do you guys think of the war machine? It looks pretty beast, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> not sure if I'll get to use it in search, but I'll definitely uh, maybe set it up. 
in um, in a free for all, or just uh, you know set up a care package, and maybe I'll get it uh, in the care package. It's probably the best way to get to be able to use all the score streak rewards uh, more quickly without having to unlock them all, right? Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. We'll have another one for you tomorrow for Black Ops 2 previews. War Machine. I'm Spider Bite, and I'm out.